Okay, now that I've installed the tri-fuel kit on my generator, the next thing I need to do is install a natural gas terminal. I have chosen to install it in my laundry room. In fact, I will be installing it from the same pipe that my dryer gets its natural gas from. Now, there are many places you can install this terminal, but I chose my laundry room for convenience. But you could install it at the meter or other places that you have a gas, uh, natural gas outlet, such as your water heater or your furnace or your barbecue grill, just to name a few. For this project, what I needed was a half inch T, half inch by three inch nipple, a two inch or a half inch by two inch nipple, half inch cap, my half inch gas valve, half inch to three eighths reducer, and then a three eighths hose bar. So that's what I needed for, uh, that's what I would need if I was just going to be hooking up the generator to the natural gas. But since I plan on running my dryer from this as well, I needed an additional half inch T, two uh, half inch by one and a half inch nipples, and then I needed uh, the gas valve that allows me to screw on my flex hose from my dryer. Now, in addition, in addition to all the pipe fittings, I needed to pick up uh, a pipe wrench and uh, the yellow Teflon tape. Now make sure when you're getting the Teflon tape that you pick up the yellow one because the yellow tape is specifically designed for gas and petroleum applications where the white is only designed for water. So you might want to keep that in mind. Now. I need to mention that my final assembly of, um, of my gas terminal here will be done in place, but I thought you guys might want to see all the pieces and what they look like before the final assembly. So here they are, and then I'll kind of show you how I put them together, because um, when I'm in the laundry room, things are kind of cramped and I don't think I'm going to be able to get a really good uh, camera angle. So for the basic... Uh, design if I was not going to be running my dryer as well from this what I would do is I'd take this T and my 3 inch pipe screw that on like this and also guys I want to mention that um, for final assembly I will be using the, uh, the yellow Teflon tape and you need to do at least two uh, circles around the threads uh, to get a good seal so anyways take my my 3 inch, connect it to my T, take my cap, put my cap over here, like so. And I'll take my 2 inch pipe, come straight up, and I'm going to take my half inch valve, screw that on there, and then my reducer, half inch. The three eighths, and then my three eighths hose bar, and there you go. So the pipe, so the pipe coming out of the wall, go in here like so. You still got a way to get in, and then you got your valve and your hose bar and your your hose from your generator would come in right here. But since um, I'm going to uh, run my dryer off this as well. What I need to do is make a couple of simple changes here. So, remove this valve, add an additional T, and then uh, my one and a half inch nipple here. My other one and a half inch nipple there. I'll put my dryer valve up here on the top. My generator valve over here, off to the right. So this is what it will look like. So the pipe coming out of the wall, go into here, and that's what will happen. Alright, so here's what it looks like. 
Next thing I need to do is go make some room in the laundry room and uh, go turn off the natural gas and we'll get this installed. Alright, now I'm at the natural gas uh, meter and what I need to do now is turn off the natural gas to the house. And in order for me to do that, what I need to do is turn this valve right here 90 degrees. So I'll put my wrench on there, turn it 90 degrees. Now the natural gas should be shut off to the home. And uh, now it's time for me to head to the laundry room to install the natural gas terminal for the generator. Now that we're in the laundry room, it's time to go ahead and assemble the natural gas terminal. The first thing I need to do is take this cap off. So let's go ahead and do that. just realized that I probably ought to get um, something to clean this end up with. So let me go get something to clean it up with and I'll be All right, right back. I'm back. Got me a rag and a Brillo pad. Let's try and clean this up just a little bit. Now that's cleaned up, let's go ahead and start to put my assembly together here. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is put this T on. That's on there. Now we're going to do uh, this uh, half inch by one and a half inch nipple. inch by one and a half inch nipple. Alright, next is going to be this T right here. Next, I'll go up. This is for the dryer. All right, next we're gonna go with the generator attachment. Okay. 
Now the reducer. Okay, now I want to straighten everything up so it looks nice and neat, and then I want to tighten everything up. So All right, well, there we go. Now we just got to make sure that everything's turned off. And there we go. Got my valve for my dryer and my valve for my generator. Now what I'll do is I've got a 50-foot hose that I'll put on here. And then I'll uh, clamp it down with a hose clamp and run it out my, my dryer vent right here out to my generator. And... Uh, and I also run my 220 volt uh, extension cord into here through the dryer vent as well. So I have both cords running through the same hole. I just want to make sure that you guys know that the valves when they're up like this means that they're on. And when the valves are, are 90 degrees or um, perpendicular to the pipe, that means they're off. Uh, right before I turn off the video, I actually turned on the valves. So like this, just want to make sure that nobody turned them on. And then all right, now the I'm back on. out at the uh, natural gas meter where I'm going to turn it back on, and uh, then I'll go check, make sure there's no leaks um, from the adapter we just put on. All right, gas is back on. Now let's go check and make sure there's all right. I'm back uh, here in the no laundry leaks. room. And it appears that there's no leaks. I don't smell an odorous odor or um, I don't hear any hissing or anything. So let's check and make sure that the gas is actually coming into this um, new terminal. And uh, we got gas there. And we've got gas there. So it looks like we did a pretty good job. Now, the last thing I just want to mention is... Um, that I need to remember to go and relight all the pilot lights for all of my gas appliances such as my furnace and my hot water heater and uh, my dryer so anyways that's all I got for you guys hope you enjoyed